Hello, I'm Conrad Bain. Tonight on Different Strokes, we're starting a special two-part show on a very sensitive and important subject. Now, we urge families, children and parents alike, to watch both of these informative episodes and then to discuss the problem presented, which is of deep concern to all of us. Hey, today's episode is uh, the sole opinion of myself and not those of our sponsor. They may feel the same way, but I'm not speaking on behalf of Spreadshop today and only myself. And with that out of the way, um, did anyone see those videos of the devastation that's currently going on? You know, people are being killed, you know, babies being, well, you know what's going on. And I'm here to tell you that as a creator, Newsjacking is a valuable tool, but not during a tragedy. What happened to those babies? Hey everybody, I'm Saul Colt, the host of the License to Print Money show powered by Spreadshop. The goal of the show for as long as they let me do it, and it may not be very long after this episode, who knows, um, is to show creative people how to make money from their creative life. So have you subscribed yet? Our numbers are going up, um, so that's cool. Um, you know, please smash that bell, you know, because every Tuesday and Friday, we're going to cover ways to generate income from your creative life. You know, everything from growing audiences, the nuances of each platform, news jacking, like we're going to talk about today, and, you know, the secrets to, uh, to selling merch. So uh, speaking of merch, the, the show is sponsored by Spreadshop. I've had a Spreadshop for over a decade. I love them, in my opinion. They're the very best online solution for selling all kinds of merch like clothing, bags, you know, all sorts of stuff, hats. That's my personal testimonial. If you stick around for the whole video, which you absolutely should, I'll give them a proper ad read uh, at the end. So today, we're diving headfirst into the whirlwind world of newsjacking. Now, don't hit that skip button, all that stuff, just because, you know, we're going to we're going to talk about something that's kind of a, a hot topic. You know, don't go. This is important to me. Should you newsjack at all? And should you do it during a war or really any time that things are a little unsettled? Uh, but before we get into the juicy stuff, let's kick off with a little, you know, high, high level explanation of what is newsjacking in case you don't know. So newsjacking is like riding a viral wave. You know, it's, it's, it's riding a wave with a purpose. Newsjacking is all about capitalizing on trending news or events to grab eyeballs for your content. It's like seizing the moment, harnessing the buzz, riding it like a pro surfer on one of those waves that form a full circle. It's a great way to get a ton of eyeballs, you know, and that's why it's valuable. It's your golden ticket to relevance and engagement. It puts you on the map. It increases your visibility. It can even make you go viral. But here's the kicker. You have to do it right. And it has to be part of your DNA because newsjacking is a double-edged sword. Um, you can either use it for good or turn. it could turn into a PR nightmare. The key here, folks, is to only newsjack if you genuinely believe in the cause and you're taking a stand. Because if you're taking a stand, you'll, you'll take whatever grief comes back to you. Do not do it to follow a trend or for the sake of clicks and likes. When you newsjack, you're putting your name and your brand out there. If you're not authentic or passionate about the issue, your audience will see right through it. And that's a one-way ticket to backlash. Yeah. Because I only deal with pure authenticity. Am I saying that word? Authentic authenticity. Is, that, is it authentic? What is it? Authenticity. There it is. You know. <laughs> you know this is a subject I'm pretty passionate about because as someone who tries to observe and consume as much content as I can, it is sometimes jarring when people either pretend the world is fine or they go too far into a serious topic when they have never done so in the past. You know, at the height of the pandemic with every newscast listing the death tolls every day, I posted this on Twitter because it was something that was bothering me. People notice everything, even if they don't comment. So the best approach always is to stay 
authentic to yourself. You know, we've talked about authenticity a lot. Authenticity. But it is so important when you talk about newsjacking. So, so let's address the elephant in the room. Newsjacking during a war. You know, there, there's a couple wars going on right now. I don't want to fight you. Come on. I don't want to fight you. Stop it. No. Put on the glasses. Um, so pick one. Look, we're all about being creative and edgy, um, but there's still lines you should never cross during times of conflict. It's crucial to show restraint and empathy, at least that's my opinion. Imagine this, people are going through unimaginable hardships and you're out there churning makeup tutorials or memeing away like nothing's happening. It's not just tone deaf, it's a little disrespectful. This doesn't mean you should stop posting or you should change your focus, but a simple acknowledgement that there are more important things going on in the world uh, right now goes a long way. You don't need to pick a side. You don't need to get political. Just be human. So if you ask me, should you uh, newsjack during a war? I mean... Heck no. My take is a firm no, unless this is your subject matter expertise. But since we are creatives, it probably isn't, you know, we probably aren't subject matter creatives on this. And, and you know, is this a time to maybe lay low? Maybe. Maybe share some of your previous best of content or just be respectful. You don't need to take a stand if this is not who you are. And remember, creativity is essential, but so is compassion. So that's kind of a wrap on, on, you know, where my head's at around newsjacking. You know, we've covered the, the, the what, the why, and the when not to, and the when to. Remember, newsjacking is a powerful tool, but with great power comes great responsibility. Use it wisely, be genuine, and always keep your moral compass intact. It makes a difference. So thanks for tuning in, and as always, stay creative, stay edgy, um, but, you know, most importantly, stay human. And and I thank Spreadshop uh, for, for letting me make this video. What's Spreadshop? Well, by now I hope you know, uh, but in case you don't, Spreadshop is the ultimate solution for creating and selling custom merchandise online. Spreadshop offers an extensive range of very high quality products, including t-shirts, hoodies, hats, bags, etc., etc. Simply upload your designs and Spreadshop takes care of all the heavy lifting. No need to worry about production, inventory, or fulfillment. Visit www.spreadshop.com today and tell them Saul sent you. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and, and share it with a friend. And for more tips to fuel your creative success, check some of our previous videos. So until next time, you know, please think about what and when and how you're posting uh, because people notice. I'm a human being like you.